Okay, so we can go back now to our third type of reaction of the alcohols, and that's elimination reactions. Um, now, hopefully, you can see this is a reverse one of how we made the alcohols. So, um, we made alcohols industrially by taking ethene um, and steam and making ethanol. Here, we take ethanol and making ethene and steam. So, it's just a reverse of that equation. And again, we need an acid catalyst to go. It's elimination reaction because I am taking... Well, because I'm eliminating a small, water, uh, a small water molecule, so a small water that goes there. Um, the hydrogen goes, the OH goes to me water, or steam in this case, and um, I make the double bond between the two carbon atoms. Um, so, um, and obviously uh, we make alkenes, they can obviously go on to make addition polymers and so on. Things to watch out for, well, if you have more complicated alcohols, then you can, of course, have different isomers, which we looked at when we looked at um, the uh, production in um, when we did the alkene topic. So let's have a look at butan 2 just to remind ourselves. So it is butan 2 I'm going to eliminate water from here. I can eliminate that water there, in which case my double bond would be between these two carbons there. So I'd be making this guy here. Or, alternatively, I could eliminate those there, which means I would be making my double bond between these two carbons but not only that, I can have the E and the Z isomers as well. So I'm making bute 2 e but I could have both isomers produced like so. So from one reaction, you can actually make three different uh, products, three different isomers. Bute one in, um, E, bute two in, and Z, bute two in as well. The final thing we need to do is look at the mechanism for that. So let's say it's an acid catalyst to get this to work. So we'll look at it for ethanol. So here's ethanol. If, and obviously on my oxygen, I've got a lone pair <coughs> of electrons and he is delta minus, the hydrogen is delta plus, and I've got H plus, which is my acid castle there. So the first step is that lone pair forms a bond with H plus. And that is effectively giving me what we call a really good leaving group. Um, because I want that to go. I need to eliminate this from the molecules. So um, that is given me O, but it's attached to two hydrogens. So hopefully you can see my oxygen's got three bonds there. He's not going to be a happy boy, is he, if he's got three bonds? So he's got a plus charge on him. So that bond breaks and the electrons go there and the water leaves and the electrons go back to the oxygen atom there. So that gives me, those electrons have now formed that double bond there. That water has gone, so I've made ethene plus water plus H plus, which has come from there. So I can, you can see how the H plus has been regener regenerated, which is why it is a catalyst. And that's the mechanism for the dehydration of ethanol.